Hi everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to continue modeling some of the details for the buildings. So, let's begin. So, this is where we lived last time and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to hide this trash roof. Okay, and now we're going to make some pipes just to bring all of the buildings together. And now we can come to Google Earth, and this is what we're going to be modeling now just uh, those pipes. And they are going to really bring all of these elements together. So let's come to the right view. And here we are going to just hide this building for a second, just turn on the X ray option for this one. So we can see through and now we're going to start using a spline you can use any spline that you feel comfortable with i'm just going to use the linear one and we're just going to make this kind of shape for this pipe so let's shrink it a little bit and now let's zoom in and now we can just uh, modify these points manually and one important thing is that these pipes don't have to be really perfect you know pipes for all buildings tend to bend and you know take some weird shapes so they don't have to be completely perfect so I'm going to make him a little bit uh, bended on purpose. And all you have to do is just modify this point until you get the shape that you like. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm just going to come to the perspective view. And here I'm going to hide the rest of the objects for the scene. And I'm just going to have visible this spline and now I'm going to make a circle and just scale it down and now I'm going to make a sweep so now we're going to take both the circle and the spline and we're going to make him a child of the sweep and that will create this too so we can make the circle smaller so the diameter of this tube is going to get smaller as well and whenever we modify the points this shape is going to be modified as well so now we are going to change the spline from linear to the sphere and this is going to give it some roundness to the different corners now let's make a quick render. So now let's bring back the different building. And this way we're going to integrate this pipe on the scene. So let's start by moving it to the left. And now let's zoom in. And we're going to take the circle and make it a tiny bit smaller. Okay, and now we're just going to move this a little bit more. And remember that at any time you can come to Google Earth and just make sure that we are doing the right thing and see as a reference what we have to do. So, as we saw, we have to take this spline and make it go around this balcony. So we're going to do that and let's hide this building and we're going to have to cut this spline. Let's move it like that and now let's cut there and also there. So now let's select some of the points and let's move them to the left. So this pipe is going to be 
going around this building and let's move this a little like that so now we can turn on the strip and see how it interacts with the different elements so now we're going to select some of these points and just move them out for a second because we're going to have to move them and when we turn on the visibility for the building we wouldn't be able to select them so now we're going to just to make sure that this pipe is not going through the wall so let's just move some points so now let's select these points and just move them down I don't really like the way this part is behaving so we're just going to delete that point there and using the knife tool we're going to create another one and the same thing for this part and we're just going to delete that one and take this other one down just move it down so we don't have any more problem so when we are happy with the overall shape of this pipe we're just going to make sure that all of the points are on the right place and that there is no part of this pipe that is going through the wall so we're just going to go from the bottom to the top and let's turn on the strip and select this point at the very bottom and just uh, make sure that it is not going through the wall and now we can select the next one that one and we're going to do the same just uh, make sure that this is not going through the wall and also that it is not too far from the wall so it's just uh, close to the wall but not going through it and we're going to do the same with the rest of the points and just uh, select the point and just uh, move it closer to the wall like that and basically this is going to be the whole process just modify the different points until it has the shape that we want so i'm just going to check the rest of the points and just uh, tweak them a little bit and now i'm pretty happy with the result and i'm going to come to the top and cut there and i'm going to just uh, delete that point make another cut and just take this point inside of the building and now i'm going to rotate this point so it is pointing on the right direction and now let's move it down so now we can turn on the strip and just make a cut there and another one there one more there okay so now we are just going to move this point around a little and turn on the visibility for the building and i'm pretty happy with the result so we're going to just uh, finish up by cutting this line here and just uh, make another cut delete that one and take this other one inside of the building so it looks like this pipe is going inside and now let's turn on the strip and 
that that is okay. And I think that we can move some of these points down. So let's select some. Here's the last one. And just move them down. We can turn off the visibility for the first building. And now let's move this to the left. So it is on the center. And now we can turn on the switch. And we can move them a little bit more. So now let's make a quick render and see how it looks. And it looks really nice. So we can make another render from a different angle. And it looks nice from this angle too. So we're going to leave it like that. So this one is finished. And you can see that we have to make another one for the other building. So let's select this and make a copy. And let's rename this one to tube or pipe, whatever you want to call it. And let's place it inside of the building 01 group. So now we're going to take this copy and just move it to the right. And all we have to do now is modify some of the points. So we can come to Google Earth to have a reference of how this pipe has to be. And now let's hide those buildings. And let's select this line and select those last points and just move them down. So this is a little bit larger. And now we can continue moving the rest of the points. So we're going to bring up this other building so we can modify interacting with the building. And I'm going to start rotating this part because this part has to come in front of this balcony. So let's just uh, move the points. And we're going to delete some of this. And now we are going to take that last one and just uh, place it there and continue modifying this other one. Just uh, rotate it and place it there. Okay. And like I said before, this pipe doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it is better if we have it on different shapes and not a perfect line. So let's just continue moving this point. So select this one and just place it closer to the wall. Same with this one. And now let's take this last one and just place it there. Okay. So it all looks great. And now let's just uh, zoom out and see how the whole pipe is looking. Okay. Let's make a quick render. And we can see that we have to make this pipe go around the balcony. And you can leave it like this if you want, or you can modify it further like I'm going to do. And I'm just going to move some of these points. Just uh, tweak them a little. And now we're going to take this one and we're going to use the knife tool. So there we're going to cut and place these points there. So 
this pipe is going around like that and now let's just take the last one and just make sure that it is not going through the wall and here we're going to use the knife tool again cut there and there and take the last point and rotate it so it is pointing to the right and now just uh, place this point inside of this building like that so this is looking good and i'm just going to make some divisions on this line like that and i'm just going to make this a more curvy shape so i'm adding some points to do that like that so it doesn't look too perfect okay i like that so now let's make a quick render and to me it looks really good we only have to fix these ones so they are no too far away from the wall like that that's much better and now this is this is good so we can make a few renders just to see we can make another render from a different angle and now we can turn on the environment group where we have our lights and make another render So this is all for this part of the tutorial and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.